So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of conjunction. And today we're actually stepping into brand new conjunctions. So today we're going to be covering conjunction of Mercury and Venus in the first house. As in what happens when these two planets are conjunct in the first house of your birth. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, for that check out the links here, kirisastrology.com, where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Makavadik Astrology Academy, where you will see all kinds of uh, lessons there, including the video I just put up on wealth and how to create wealth, how to activate wealth. So, Mercury, Venus, and the Ascendant. So, whenever Mercury and Venus are naturally conjunct, it is known as Lakshmi Narayan Yoga. Meaning, Narayan, which is Vishnu, is connected with Mercury. And Venus is connected with Lakshmi. So both of them are together. It's kind of like Kendra and Trikon coming together. Like Lakshmi controls the trines. The first, fifth and ninth house. Vishnu controls the Kendra. First, fourth and first, fourth, seventh, the tenth house. So that first house actually is the, again, verging of Lakshmi and Narayan, like Vishnu and Lakshmi. So one thing we obviously see, and especially you will see this when Mercury and Venus are ahead of the degrees of the sun. This brings tremendous amount of prosperity after marriage. The person will attain land, the person will attain vehicles, homes, okay? They will have a prosperous life. What happens is usually sun is always going to be around. If sun is ahead of these particular degrees, what happens is that a person gains these things, but they will only get it until they become the authority in life. So for example, you are working in IT, whatever position is, is supervisor, manager. Okay. So let's say you're at just a regular software engineer and you make good money because even at the bottom level, especially in the U.S. Silicon Valley, a person will minimum will make like 100, 120,000. But the thing is, if you have sun ahead of it, Mercury and Venus are saying that until you reach your soul's destination to become one, then we give you what you want. What does this mean? This means when you become the authority, when you become the sun, you attain these things. Because what happens is you're taking Mercury and Venus and you're crossing the sun. And so only through us being the authority, being the king in your life provides these things. The other thing we also see with Mercury and Venus, these people are not, these folks are hopeless romantic. They love passion, obsession of romance. They want constant romance in their married life relationships. They constantly want to feel that movie-like scenario. But on the other hand, you will see, when Mercury and Venus are together, when they're conjunct in the ascendant, age of 41 attains wealth. Age of 40, you will attain wealth. Now, why is it that age of 40 becomes the period of attaining wealth? Well, here's the thing. Mercury's Multricone sign is what? Virgo. So from the zodiac, which can also be known as Ba Chakra, Mercury originally rules the sixth house, right? With this Multricone sign, Virgo. The ascendant is eight places away from Mercury. That means if you count the first house as Virgo, meaning sixth house as the first house, 40th year will become the Lagna, the Ascendant. This is where you will see a person will attain some kind of a special wealth or gift. Maybe you purchase a home, buying a car, even getting married. Those things will take place, but at the same time, you will also see disputes with your spouse during that year as well. And especially Mercury-Venus conjunction, 
will naturally bring in disputes as much as it brings in prosperity. So don't think it's, this is just like a conjunction which is all, you know, full of uh, fun and romance. You know, this is a particular conjunction um, that is going to bring arguments within the marriage. Why? Because originally Mercury rules the sixth house. Venus rules the seventh house. Relationship disputes. Relationship arguments. Your counterpart, your enemy. So it's kind of like two best friends coming together and friends fight. They, they stop talking to each other. Then after a week, then they'll talk again. Then the friendship comes back again. So you will experience that with this. Now, especially if these particular planets in the Ascendant also kind of become trying from Saturn. Connected with Saturn, they become great performers. They become great performers, artists, artists, you know, actors, mimickers. But also, on the other hand, this is a great conjunction of a person who also can deal with accounts. Accounting and auditing. Why? Because Mercury is a natural accountant. Venus is a natural significator of what? Well, money, cash money. This is something that I even spoke about on my Keras vlogs just as two days ago. Venus is the actual money. Like, for example, if I had my wallet and if I took out cash, dollars, that's Venus. But if, let's say, you gave me gold right now, that's no longer Venus. That is Jupiter. It's abundance and it's wealth. That is considered wealth. But you cannot go out and buy groceries from it. You're going to have to sell that gold, get cash, and then get groceries. So this is why it becomes very important. And the thing is, especially with Mercury-Venus conjunction, this individual will have a very attractive personality, very set, like sense of humor will be exu ex uh, like oozing out of them. Because this is on the Lagna, this is their entire being. And especially for this person, whenever they make quick decisions, fast decisions, you know, related to their money, wealth, relationships, they always tend to, you know, um, end up gaining something. Because first house, even though regardless of the sign that these two planets might be in, this future planet could be in Scorpio or Cancer or Sagittarius. But the thing is, the foundation is what foundation is there. It's the first house. And especially with this particular conjunction, they will always desire to look their best. They want to be appreciated. They want to be uh, recognized. So they will always kind of appear in a way where people pay attention to them. You know, but again, other planets will always bring a different quality. Like, for example, you know, you're, you're making paneer, but now in the paneer that you're making, you're also putting in potato or okra. It's going to create something different. The taste is going to be different. So we have to understand those things as well. And especially you will see with this individual, whenever they do business and communication within the business, meaning they become the face of the company, they are the one who are actually pushing the product, this is where this person will gain tremendous wealth. Because also, if you notice, Mercury is business. Venus is money. Venus is luxury. Venus is name brands. Right? Like, that's what Venus is. is luxury. It's something that is hard to attain. And what is hard to attain? You can buy a $20 t-shirt at a, any kind of a department store. But if you were to go for, let's say, a Dolce & Gabbana shirt, Supreme, these things will be like $200 just for a normal t-shirt with that logo because it now has a brand. And so one thing you see, if these people want to gain in life, they have to become a brand in themselves. Why in themselves? Because this is in the first house. They have to become the brand. Like, for example... What can I say? 
let's say for example uh this famous youtuber marquis brown at mkbhd you know um he's a brand in himself he's he's been there since the beginning regarding tech so whenever you think of tech iphone reviews tech reviews camera reviews this gadget that gadget you think of mkbhd i'm sure in india it's someone else because my algorithm will only show people in us you know most of the time but this is how the individual has to be so if let's say somebody was to replace marquis brown in his own channel it's not going to work like for example i remember in the beginning there was ray william johnson he's still there but he was like the first big grand you know biggest youtuber he had a show equals 3 equals 3 was ray william john johnson but as soon as he left and if somebody else came in it just wasn't there it wasn't the same it's not like let's say apple is going to be apple whether steve jobs is there tim cook is there or some new person comes in there apple is a brand in its own so it's a different scenario because it's in the first house you have to be that brand if you want to attain that wealth you want to attain that money and the communication has to be there if you don't want to communicate you want to be behind the scenes you know for example you've got saturn moon in the 12th with this particular conjunction you're going to desire to just do your work behind the scenes and then wanting to attain that money that's not going to work and then especially you will see with mercury and venus together is that especially whenever this person is ill whenever you're ill go to an extremely young doctor and especially extremely young female doctor doesn't matter if you're 20 years old 50 years old 60 years old find a doctor who just came out from a medical school that you can see that doctor will actually improve your health because mercury is youth venus is a female venus is also having the sanjeevani shakti the ability to bring somebody out of debt so if you feel like oh god my health is just depleting they can rejuvenate that but you have to go to that person now of course if this particular conjunction had saturn i would say go to an older doctor and there would be some other additional things that i would say who to go and see but in this right now we're sticking to mercury and venus so in this you want to go see if this is the conjunction you have without any other conjunction you will see your health improves and especially with venus mercury in the ascendant um herbs become very important from improvement of health and the other thing that also i forgot to um it's at the tip of my tongue uh i will i knew another thing about this ascendant of mercury and venus and it just slipped out of my head let's see if in the next 5 seconds um i'm able to remember that okay well i'm not getting it but let's move on to the other one the other one you will also see if it's a chart of a male spouse will control the business spouse will also control the marriage spouse will also control what you wear so you will see when you go out you're going to work she'll be like no 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 wear this once you wear, and you will abide by that because these are the people who love to be in that umbrella of the spouse cuz they are they want to be in love you see that they will follow what the spouse is saying okay so anyway guys this is my analysis of mercury venus conjunction in the ascendant i can probably go on for another hour but you know i know you don't have time i don't have time but this gives you a very concrete you know uh uh definition of this conjunction okay so we will see you guys next day meeting tomorrow with our uh trikna chart video All right bye bye